There comes a point in time in life you have to accept what you get. And if you've never dealt with that before now, this time during COVID-19, I believe, is something that we are all experiencing, taking what we get, taking it and making the best of it. Today's entry will be entry 37 and 38. I thought that I would include me spending some time in my yard as well. Just to give you a little bit of insight of what it's been like here at our home while we are quarantined. In the midst of all of it, me editing these journal pages that were filmed prior to COVID. How are you doing creatively? Are you able to create during this time of pandemic or are you more silent in the creations? Are you creating in a journal? Are you creating in your yard, the kitchen? Maybe this is a great time for you to collect things to start a journal such as this or something similar to. Maybe this is a time for you to watch the items that are coming and going in your home, to pay attention and set pieces aside so you can use them in a journal. You see here on this page, I'm working with a Lipton tea bag cover and the little gold piece is the cover from a bouillon cube. And the long slender piece is a piece of scrap paper, scrapbook paper that I have on hand. And then a page from a book is on the back side there. If you are new here, my name is Ashley Murphy. I'm an artist and an author. I'm the friend who encourages you to artistically see your leadership. By this, I mean your voice of influence matters. You were made to shine. It's my hope sharing pieces of my everyday life inspires your voice, inspires your voice of influence to shine. Do you like to work in your yard? Do you like to plant plants in the spring? This is one of my most favorite times of the year. I snuck out early one morning and went to Lowe's before 
the store was packed in the outdoor checkout. This is one of my favorite plants. It's very durable. You don't have to water it a lot. Yes, it does require water, but it's not high maintenance. Inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. It's always an exciting moment when you finally find the pieces that will go on the page that you are working on. I love when the moment comes that I am able to glue those pieces into place. I'm spending a little time here getting that done before we proceed on to the next. This journal series has been a long series. I was counting up the total pages that will end up being in this journal series and I believe it's right at 45, 45 pages. That has been a journal that has been created from start to finish. This has been one of my bigger projects that I have recently taken on. It has been a pleasure to create, yet one I'm ready to finish. I'm ready to finish to move on to see what else lies ahead. If you have missed any of the previous pages in this journal series, you can check out the playlist, Art Journaling Series 2020. And also, if you know of anyone that you think would be interested in this series or an episode, please share with them. I would love to have them. I'm on the hunt now to find some pieces that will go in those center inserts. If you see that is a small insert of a piece of map. And then there will be one behind it that's a little bit longer. You can kind of see it sticking out from behind the map and it's a dictionary page. And behind it will be a small piece of uh, like brown paper. These were small pieces when I made this handmade journal that I stuck in here. And so I'm having to find pieces to go on there. So I didn't necessarily number these when I say this is journal entry 37 and 38. 37 is the dark brown piece that we just got through creating on with the Lipton tea bag. And 38 will be past those little small inserts that's the white page. It'll be what we work on last. But I will tell you, even though I did not give these little page numbers, I enjoyed working on the smaller pieces almost more than I did the actual size of pages. It was something about finding the smaller little pieces. You see how quick that took me to find what was going to go on this page. The smaller pieces just clicked right into place and so I worked along and got that first page done with the map on it. I will move on to each one uh, and create on the back side of them. So in just a second, we will create on the back side of this piece of map.
Well, I would like to say, did you see how fast the first small side of the map went? So I kind of thought that those behind it would go just as fast, but as you're seeing, it's kind of not. So in the meantime, how about we take a look at what's going on back in the yard? I still don't have it figured out. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm about to narrow this down. Things will begin to fall in place in just a moment. It was a matter of pulling all those smaller pieces out. Although I enjoyed working on these pages, it did take a second to get all of those smaller pieces out and about where I could look at them and find what pieces would look good together. Where I had been used to working with the bigger pages and that's something to keep in mind. No matter your size of your project, if you're working with mixed media items such as this, if you're just working strictly with watercolor or just acrylics you have to kind of get uh, the mojo going for the size of space that you're working with I really liked how these pieces on this side of the map beginning to fall into place. The blue kind of tied in with the map and then the colors in the stamp tied in with the yellow. The yellow flowers in the stamp tied in to the yellow little strip that came off the top of a tea bag. And then a little heart silver heart i had been longing to find a little home for it and i thought it just turned out perfect on this page this was out of the small one was one of my favorite but i say that and the next little small one is one of my favorite too so I hope that you enjoy these extra little small pages in this journal. Enjoy watching me create on them. For the remainder of those, I will not speak over them. I will let you just enjoy the process. Be sure though to stick around so you can continue to watch the planning of the flowers. And I have a small little message for you at the end of this video. 
Oh, and you get to see what's for dinner. Don't miss it.
go bad doggy. I can't hear her. Mm, don't look at mom. Did she do your, our business while you were at work?
Mm-hmm. There will be people who will not support what you are passionate about. You want to know why? One, not everyone is passionate about the same things. Not everyone has the same interest. Two, they don't understand what you are passionate about. And it's not left up to you to make them understand. Let them learn on their own terms. Three, they don't yet understand their own calling, their impact to shine. Don't let their lack of passion, understanding, or growth crush where you are being called to shine. It's okay. Move forward. Shine bright. The world needs your influence. Show me your passion. And Show me your shine. Is very Tag true me. To color, because I just tried to take a picture and it looked way too pink, but 
which basic skin on the camera right now is pretty true to color of what the room is and it's definitely